Hi, my name is Asha Gomez. Welcome to my kitchen. I have decided to put together a short series of videos of me cooking in the kitchen, making dishes from my book, My Two Souths. So I hope you enjoy this series that we have put together for you. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make a cream spinach with fresh mozzarella. It's called palak paneer. It's essentially a creamed spinach with an Indian cheese called paneer. It's also very similar to the Southern classic cream spinach. It has a few more ingredients than I usually tend to have when I make dishes, but the end result is fantastic. So I have a medium pot here, and I'm gonna turn my flame on to a high. I wanna start off on a high flame a couple of tablespoons of um, olive oil or vegetable oil. And let the oil get hot for a quick minute and then you're gonna put in your onions. I just took a yellow onion. You could use a red onion if you want or even a white onion. It's gonna be just as good. I finely chopped the onions. I am going to let that get a little translucent. I'm gonna go ahead and add my ginger. Here's the thing about ginger, right? I love ginger, it's one of my favorite things to cook with. Um, it's finely chopped ginger. You know, ginger, if you're eating it raw, can be rather harsh on the palate. But ginger, when it hits some kind of fat, when it hits oil and it gets caramelized and it gets golden brown, actually sweetens on you. So you have that beautiful taste of the ginger, but it's, it's not as harsh as when you're eating raw ginger. So if you get a ginger to a golden brown, you're gonna be amazed. You can, at, at just the robust flavor that it has with a tinge of sweetness that comes along with it. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic that I've finely minced. I have three whole um, dried chilies here, and I'm just gonna break it up in there into, like, you know, each chili into three or four pieces. Now, if you can't find whole dried chili, feel free to use the uh, crushed pepper, uh, red pepper flakes. It'll be just as good. I'd say use about a half a teaspoon of the crushed pepper flakes. So, you know, here, when you're cooking, the trinity is celery, onions, bell peppers. In Indian cooking, <laughs> our trinity is onions, ginger, garlic. That seems to be the base of most of the dishes that we make. This is nice and translucent. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my spices. So I'm gonna add a touch of turmeric. Here's the thing about turmeric. Turmeric is an antiseptic, right? So almost all Indian cooking, you a pinch of turmeric, will always put a pinch of turmeric in everything. That's because it's an antiseptic and it kills all the bacteria. And also that vibrant color, you can't go wrong with it. I coarsely ground um, some cumin. I have um, ground coriander. Oh, spices truly, truly, truly bloom when they hit hot oil. It really opens it up and, you know, the fragrance of the spice comes out even more when it hits heat. And I'm gonna put some salt to taste. At this point, you can start putting your spinach in. So, you know, you can put a handful at a time, um, and then when that wilts down, you can put the next handful. It's gonna wilt down so fast. I love cream spinach. It's like one of my favorite things. So when this cooks down a little bit, we'll add the next bunch. Let's 
So at this point, all our spinach has bolted down. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in the food processor and get it pureed. And then we're gonna bring it back to this pot and finish cooking it in this pot. So you can leave the pot, uh, you know, you can bring back the same pot. You don't have to wash it or anything. So we're gonna take this to the food processor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put all the spinach into the food processor. And we'll puree it and we'll bring it right back to our pot. So I just pureed it in the food processor. I'm gonna turn my flame back on, add a little bit more of my oil to the pan, and I'm gonna put this pureed spinach back in the pot. You want it to cook for just a few minutes to heat through. Get a nice stir in there. Beautiful. And then at this point, you're gonna fold in some sour cream. Now if you want, you can use yogurt too. It's just a lot creamier with the sour cream. And as soon as you fold it in, you want to, like, you want to stop. You don't want it to cook too much, right? It looks so beautiful. And then you're going to take your mozzarella and drop it in there. And you want the mozzarella to just slightly heat through so it's just a little ooey gooey. At this point, I'm going to fold in the chopped cilantro that I had chopped and set aside. It smells so good. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that into a few, oh, that cheese is melting. Look at how gorgeous that looks. That with some piping hot steamed rice. Perfection. I hope you enjoy cooking this in your kitchen. Happy cooking.